Let's learn a little bit more about Linux and what you need to know about this operating system when working as a security analyst. Linux is a very customizable operating system. Unlike other operating systems, there are different versions available for you to use. These different versions of Linux are called distributions. You might also hear them called distros or flavors of Linux. It's essential for you to understand the distribution that you're using so you know what tools and apps are available to you. For example, Debian is a distro that has different tools than the Ubuntu distribution. Let's use an analogy to describe Linux distributions. Think of the OS as a vehicle. First, we'll start with its engine. That would be the kernel. Just as the engine makes the vehicle run, the kernel is the most important component of the Linux OS. Because the Linux kernel is open source, anyone can take the kernel and modify it to build a new distribution. This is comparable to a vehicle manufacturer taking an engine and creating different types of vehicles, trucks, cars, vans, convertibles, buses, airplanes, and so on. These different types of vehicles can be compared to different Linux distributions. A bus is used to transport lots of people. A truck is used to transport a large number of goods across vast distances. An aircraft transports passengers or goods by air. Just as each vehicle serves its own purpose, different distributions are used for different reasons. Additionally, vehicles all have different components which distinguish them from each other. Aircrafts have control panels with buttons and knobs. Regular cars have four tires, but trucks can have more. Similarly, different Linux distributions contain different pre-installed programs, user interfaces, and much more. A lot of this is based on what the Linux user needs, but some distros are also chosen based on preference, the same way a sports car might be chosen as a vehicle. The advantage of using Linux as an OS is that you can customize it. Distributions include the Linux kernel, utilities, a package management system, and an installer. We learned earlier that Linux is open source and anyone can contribute to adding to the source code. That is how new distributions are created. All distros are derived from another distro, but there are a few that are considered parent distributions. Red Hat is a parent of CentOS, and Slackware is the parent of SUSE. Both Ubuntu and Kali Linux are derived from Debian. As we continue, we're going to take a look at some of the distributions most commonly used by security analysts. The more you understand these distributions, the easier your work will be. In this section, we're going to cover a Linux distribution that's widely used in security and discuss Kali Linux. Kali Linux is a trademark of offensive security and is Debian derived. This open source distro was made specifically with penetration testing and digital forensics in mind. There are many tools pre-installed into Kali Linux. It's important to note that Kali Linux should be used on a virtual machine. This prevents damage to your system in the event its tools are used improperly. An additional benefit is that using a virtual machine gives you the ability to revert to a previous state. As security professionals advance in their careers, some specialize in penetration testing. A penetration test is a simulated attack that helps identify vulnerabilities in systems, networks, websites, applications, and processes. Kali Linux has numerous tools that are useful during penetration testing. Let's look at a few examples. To begin, Metasploit can be used to look for and exploit vulnerabilities on machines. Burp Suite is another tool that helps to test for weaknesses in web applications. And finally, John the Ripper is a tool used to guess passwords. As a security analyst, your work might involve digital forensics. Digital forensics is a practice of collecting and analyzing data to determine what has happened after an attack. For example, you might take an investigative look at data related to a network activity. Kali Linux is also a useful distribution for security professionals who are involved in digital forensic work. It has a large number of tools that can be used for this. As one example, TCP dump is a command line packet analyzer. It's used to capture network traffic. Another tool commonly used in the security profession is Wireshark. It has a graphical user interface that can be used to analyze live and captured network traffic. And as a final example, Autopsy is a forensic tool used to analyze hard drives and smartphones. These are just a few tools included with Kali Linux. This distribution has many tools used to conduct pen testing and digital forensics. <laughs>